All right, so recently I'm seeing a lot of things, a lot of questions about what is the best daily schedule? What is the best way to structure your life in a way to make business succeed or SMA or agency stuff succeed, right? So I first did some research and I'm like, what do other people think? What are they telling these people? Because I have my own opinions. I want to see what the advice they're giving. And it's a bit ridiculous. So in this video, I'm going to be covering why most of the things on the internet that people are telling you how to structure your routines, how to go about structuring business in your life is completely wrong. If you don't know me, I run a 40k a month SMA myself and agency. I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. And I'm just going to show you everything that I disagree with, right? So let's start off with this tweet. I was scrolling Twitter the other day and I found a post by Matt Gray. He's a very nice guy. I've seen him in interviews. I have no problems with him, but I have a problem with what this tweet says right here. So what he said, I'll put this tweet on the screen right here. He said, how to be a top 1% founder in 2024. No porn, meditate, no alcohol. You lift weights, clear vision, morning sun, eight hours sleep, sugar, energy, vampires, make time for family, deep work, gratitude, a personal board of advisors, right? So full transparency, if you're scaling a business, remove 90% of this. And this is the narrative that I'm seeing going around the internet now which is, I, I find absolutely ridiculous. None of these things he just said, other than maybe four hours of deep work, will skill your business, right? So what I'm seeing is a lot of people are scaling a business, they're getting rich, they make money, and then preach the literal opposite thing that they did to make money. Because now they're on this biohacking sphere, health sphere, inject testosterone, <laughs> take vitamins, all of these things. Red light saunas, ice baths, all these things, right? But in reality, what it takes to scale a business is doing your cold calls, is doing your content, is doing your sales calls and booking your appointments. None of this stuff comes down to making money. And I'm not destroying the validity of anything that he's saying in terms of your personal life or your health or any of these things, right? I'm not taking that away from him. If you're giving business advice, he's talking about being a founder, you need to know the business in and out. What I'm hearing is people taking this advice very literally. This person's making 100K a month, 500K a month, a million a month. He's telling me that he's biohacking. He's spending an hour in the sauna every morning, taking a cold shower, taking an ice plunge. Why don't I do it too? So this is what I fell for when I started my agency. And a few months later, I realized I wasn't making any progress. What would I do? Wake up in the morning, have my coffee. I do my ice shower. I would do my meditation. While doing my meditation, I visualize, try to get to my end result, see where I'd be. Then I would, let's say, try to look over my vision board. And once you're done all these things, that's like, that's like a short morning routine. People are doing much more than that. Once you're done that, you're two and a half hours into your day. You need to be working on the business. So as, as soon as I realized that was all productive procrastination to scaling your business, the things that you need to do to scale your business are running the ads. They are chopping off the task list, building out the website, building out the VSL, recording your content, optimizing your ads. None of this has to do with the work. None of it, right? You need to wake up in the morning, get your shower. I don't care. Whatever. Get straight to work. My morning routine is I wake up and get straight to work. Just to frame it one more time, right? When I was scaling my business, starting from zero, I knew nothing. I had a lot of work to do. I fell for all of that stuff. So when I was starting off, I realized I need to go harder. I was willing to take those things out as an experiment. So this was my schedule when I was scaling my business. This was my exact schedule. I would wake up, go lift weights. I've always lifted weights. I just enjoy it. It doesn't make me money, right? I could do 30, 30 minutes of cardio and I recognize that and I'd still be healthy, but I enjoy lifting weights, so I did it. I lifted weights and then read a book for an hour. Probably didn't have to do that, but let's just keep rolling with it. So this is what, 8, 9 a.m. I would then work on the business, do my cold calls, do my operations, take the sales calls, network, learn, go through, I take courses for about nine till three. So that was six hours of work. From three until 10 or three until 11, depending on the day, I then go work my job, my part-time job to make the money. So I can funnel all back in the business and my education. 
where's the biohacking? Tell me. Where's the biohacking in that schedule? There's nothing. And I'm successful, you can say. Successful. Right? I've, I've done well. I'm, I'm a happy guy. <laughs> the cold showers, the ice plunges, the sauna, the red light, all of these things are productive procrastination. It's pain avoidance. Let's talk about pain avoidance for a second, by the way. Because... All of this comes from the psychological trick or the thing we have in our minds of pain avoidance. Because our minds are programmed in a way we always take the easiest way out of the situation no matter what. If you have an option, if there's a banana and then there's a Snickers bar next to it, you, your gut instincts are want to go to the Snickers bar every time. Right? If you need to do a hard workout that's two hours, you're going to face resistance to doing it. If you need to do 300 cold calls for three and a half hours of your day, every single day, you're going to battle yourself into doing those cold calls every single day because how hard it is because of how difficult it is, right? It is hard to do. We want to be comfortable in watching YouTube videos on our feed all day. You know how comfortable I'd be playing video games for 10 hours a day. <laughs> Very comfortable, but I would be sacrificing my long-term vision of making an impact on this world and impacting positively. My vision for the long-term, I'd be sacrificing that for instant dopamine in this current situation. And if I was optimizing for this short-term every single time and not making those sacrifices and doing those cold calls, I'd be drinking alcohol every day, you'd be smoking weed, you wouldn't be working out. All you're doing when you're doing the cold shower, the saunas, the red light, and you know you need to make money and you have zero dollars in your bank account, but you're getting told to do red lights on us. It is purely pain avoidance. Purely pain avoidance from just sitting down and doing the task list, task list of things you need to do. Like, put it in perspective, business is learning more things, learning the things you have to fix or change, just chipping away at your task list every day. Today was not a, what you call, fun day for me. Right? I had to record 10 to 15 ads, like video for like two hours. Because all I did, I didn't use good tonality in that one. Let's re-record it. New video, new video, come inside, go here on this desk, record 10, 15 new ads, right? Record this video, take three hours of coaching calls. That's work. And if you're scaling a business, you have to learn how to work. And I can only fit in this many hours of work because I wake up and just go straight to work. And guess what? I'm happy doing it because I'm improving myself and the people around me. So if you're hearing this morning routine narrative of five, six hours, you need to optimize this, optimize that, you need to visualize, you need to manifest complete BS from the task at hand, which is working on the business more, right? It was all a distraction from the actual work you need to do, right? And like I mentioned at the beginning, most of these people make their money with a business first, do all the hard shit, then they learn it, hire for it, and they have a lot of free time, and then they start preaching the biohacking stuff. And they start preaching the cold shower. Then they start preaching the ice plunges. And that's because they got through the part where they need to brute force it for 12 hours a day. In the beginning, you have no leverage. You have brute force. You need to literally Go down on your laptop and you're a one man show, right? All of the business problems are your personal problems. It's a reflection of you because you have nobody hired. As soon as your business grows and you have more better talent on the business, it starts being a accumulative thing of great minds because it's all of the top people making an effort to grow it. In the beginning, it's just you. And you need to realize that you need to put all of your time into it because it's just you. And you need to get it off the ground by putting 12 hour days in or it won't grow because you don't have the skills. You don't have the leverage you need. You don't have employees. You don't have ads running. You don't have content pumping. You have nothing. Skip all of the things in this tweet. Let's pull up again, right? Morning sun, sugar, gratitude, advisors. No, like this is a great life to, to, like list, right? has nothing to do with business. 
Alex Ramosi has a hundred million dollar network in net worth and probably does 80% of the things on this list, right? So don't take this advice that I'm hearing on the internet as dogma, right? Question a little bit. You can have alcohol every week if you want, as long as you put those 10 to 12 hours of work in. But if your work is degraded, then don't do it. Anything that affects your work, remove. So let's read out this tweet that I replied to it quickly, and then we'll end the video. So I said, like, I like Maddie's a chill, guys, completely fine. But here's my top 1% founder list. So now contrast his with mine real quick. Study the top business minds of the world. Musk, Bezos, Hermosi, Sam Levins, Alex Becker. Learn how to increase traffic, retention, and conversions for the business. Get a proper product market fit. Identify your personal strengths and weaknesses and outsource your weaknesses to people that have that strength. Work on the high leverage tasks that a founder should be working on. Remove all things from your life that degrade your work. Learn from setbacks in constant iteration in brackets trial and error. Playing the infinite game with a long-term time horizon and not optimizing for the short term. You can be a top 1% founder ignoring these things. It's just the gurus preach the little opposite things that actually got them rich. So if you enjoyed this opinion video and you found it any value or it helps you anyway, just support the channel. That'd be amazing. Just like and subscribe. If you want to join the community and get a free coaching call with me actually that I'm doing for a very limited amount of time, you can just join my community below. It has a free course that is accessible, like completely free, and you can just get it down below. It's how to book 10 to 15 appointments a day. So if you would enjoy any of that, perfect. Check that out. If not, happy day. See you later.